Devin Beaver, we are the Chappie. Today, it's a Chappie here. So, um, the main news today is, you know I have these two mice. I mean, you know I don't have any mice, but there are two mice that happen to live in the same granny flat as me, yeah? The ones I've named Fizz and Buzz. No, the ones that you, you named Fizz and Buzz, but I, I don't call them anything at all because this is Mum's house and it is not a Disney film, Arthur, nor is it a rodent sanctuary. Yeah, anyway, those two, uh, Fizz and Buzz, uh, well, the thing is, one of them, Fizz, um, well, they're not missing, obviously, because they can go where they like. But, well, one of the places they used to like going was here, and they haven't been here for a while, and I'm just interested in, um, you know, only in a friendly way, in why not, and where they've gone instead, and whether they'll be like there for long, and when they're coming back. The other one's fine, the other one, uh, Buzz, the brown one, they, they, they still come here. Um, and they don't look too worried about Fizz, although it's quite hard to tell with mice because they kind of look worried about everything all the time. Anyway, I've made a poster for Fizz. Uh, I've got it here. I'll read it out to you, see what you think. Hello, have you seen this mouse? It's not missing or anything. I'm just quite interested in where it is and what it's getting up to. Anyway, here's its details. What it is, a mouse, size, small, not small for a mouse, I mean, just small for a thing. I don't know if it's small for a mouse. It's bigger than the other one. Oh, there's two, by the way, but only one of them's missing. Well, neither of them are missing, like I said at the start of this poster, but only one of them's not here. Colour, grey. I used to think it was sometimes brown, but it turned out that was the other one. Name. I don't know its real name. I call it Fizz. Well, actually, I don't call it anything, but some friends of mine on the internet call it Fizz. That's you. Uh, and sometimes I do too, just for convenience. But I don't know if it knows it's called Fizz. Sometimes it looks up when I say Fizz, but sometimes it looks up when I say Buzz. And sometimes it looks up even when I don't say anything. I think it might just like looking up. Likes. Looking up, scrabbling, scuffling, chewing things, crumbs. But I don't give it any crumbs. So if you see a mouse like that anywhere, uh, don't catch it or anything, but maybe just take a picture so I can see if it's okay. And if you see one that isn't Fizz, but looks like Fizz, then take a picture of that too, because if you think about it, you won't know whether it is Fizz or not until I tell you. And then knock on the door of the house that this poster is outside and I will take a socially distanced look at it. Only important, make sure you knock at the little red door at the side, not the big black door at the front. The lady behind the big black door at the front does not care about mice, except in quite a negative way. But the man behind the little red door does care about mice, although he does not encourage them. OK, thank you. Bye. Oh, and here's a picture of the mouse. And then I drew a picture of the mouse. Um, but the only thing is, I drew it from memory, and I also drew it big enough to fill the rest of the poster so that everyone could see it. Only it ended up looking a bit sort of um, huge and quite fierce. And anyway, I took that picture off because um, I think it's quite misleading. And even if someone does see something that looks like that, well, firstly, it's probably not fizz. And secondly, whatever it is, I don't think I really want to see it, unless it's in a cage with really quite thick bars. Anyway, then I had another go and I drew Fizz life-size and I think that worked out a bit better. Um, anyway, um, see what you think. Here's the whole poster. There we go. So obviously there's, there's quite a lot of words on it. Um, I showed it to the group on WhatsApp and, and Douglas said maybe next time I do something like this I should try thinking about what I want to say before I start writing. But I mean come on Douglas, I'm not Shakespeare. Right, so I'm going to put that up. Uh, I'm sure we'll find him, I'm, or her, I'm sure we will. Uh, I'll let you know how we get on. Okay, bye! <laughs>